Hello and welcome to Kahindo Tech. In this video, I will show you how to create a Zoom account on an iPhone. But before we begin, let's hear a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is brought to you by Amazon Prime. If you find my video hopeful at all and you would like to support my channel, please try out my Amazon Prime free trial. With this trial, you get free Prime delivery. You don't have to pay shipping fees anymore. Exclusive discounts for students. Listen to 70 million songs ad-free. Watch award-winning movies and TV shows. And you try all of this completely free of charge. If you don't like it, you can simply cancel before they charge you, okay? You can find a link to this free trial in my video description. It's completely free six months for students and 30 days for everyone else. Thank you for watching and get back to your video. All right, welcome back. Now, to uh, create a Zoom account on an iPhone, you first, let's first uh, download the app if you haven't. So we'll just quick, quickly walk through that. I opened the, uh, what is it called? The App Store. All right. And then uh, download Zoom. I'm looking for it right now. And I'll quickly download it. It's downloading at the moment. All right. So once I have it and I open it, this is what it looks like. To sign up for an account, if you see here on the bottom, do you see where it says sign up? I'll just click on that. All right, and then it's asking you for your uh, birth date. Uh, put in a date. Oh, what was I going in the future? 1976. All right, and then it says enter your email. And I'll just put in uh, support. Uh, Kahindo Tech, and then uh, Kahindo Tech Inc. So you put in your first and last name, and then click on sign up. Okay, we have sent a confirmation email to support uh, Kahindo, and you can see they send him the same email. And uh, they say, please click the confirmation link to activate and start using Zoom. So you click on OK. And then go open the email that you just uh, entered there to create your account. So if I go and open my email, and that's the email that they sent me. So I open that email, and there's an activation link. So I'll click over here on this link, and that will activate my account. Uh, okay, and then it's asking, what is all this? Um... I usually up out of this. This just sends them information and like advertising stuff. It's, you just say up out and I'll click on where it says opt out and then uh, create your password. And as you can see here, usually you want to make sure that password is eight characters, has at least one letter, one number, and includes both uppercase and lowercase uh, characters. And usually I like to also add a special character. A special character is stuff like that. Uh, dollar sign, uh, exclamation mark, stuff like that, okay? So go ahead and create your password following these rules right here. So if I click on where it says password, I can start uh, entering my password. Right now I'm entering it and it's closing it. As you see, as I'm typing it, some of this stuff are becoming green. That means I've used them, okay? And that red stuff I still haven't used. And once they all turn green, that means my password is good. And then uh, after I've done that, make sh click on where it says done right here. And then you have to click on confirm the password. So just make sure that um, you're you don't you didn't like accidentally put a password that you didn't mean to put. Okay, so confirm the password. Enter the same password that you just did. Uh, okay. And then are you signing up on behalf of our primary or secondary institution and choose whatever which, whichever one is your case and for me it's no okay and uh it says invite colleagues this step if you want to invite other people you can but for now i just usually say skip this step and then your personal meeting url that's my meeting url and that's usually your meeting uh id i believe this number okay that's how you create the account. Now, if I go back to the app, the Zoom app, uh, oops, click the wrong thing. So go back to the Zoom app, and if I click on sign in, I'll enter the email 
that I just created. Any support, uh, Kahindo Tech dot com and then enter the password and i think you'll be covered uh and you can use for iphones you can use a touch id here and uh usually um i don't like doing it like that uh, i'll just click on cancel and i'll actually enter my password and it might be hidden for you i believe yeah it is hidden uh, just enter your password and then you click on sign in and usually you want to Depending if you want to get notifications or not, I usually just click on allow. So whenever you receive calls or stuff like that, it will like notify you. And also, it wants to access my calendar. Uh, choose whichever one works for you. I don't know what people's privacy. Um, what kind of privacy settings people like, but choose whichever one works for you. And then you said don't allow. And uh, don't allow. Okay, there you go. That's how you create a Zoom account on an iPhone. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Definitely don't forget to check out my uh, Amazon Prime trial. Thank you for watching.